Elizabeth. Yes, ma'am. How was school today? Bad. Why was it bad? Because school was bad or you was bad? Um, because a lot of people was being bad, but said, um, the were you people, being bad? No. Um, Sheila wasn't. So, everybody was being bad, but you. And Sheila wasn't. So, just two people was not being bad. And, and, um, 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 um. So, what you learned today? Um, I learned about. You learned about what? Um. Um, what? We don't have to learn in school. You don't have to learn in school. That's what you go to school for so you can learn. And we learn about. Eating flowers, but it's not a good thing. Yeah, I learned about eating flowers. Yeah, yeah, and, um. So what they tell y'all about eating flowers? Um, we didn't eat flowers for lunch. Y'all ate flowers for lunch? No. So what y'all eat for lunch? Um, we ate for lunch is, like, nut candy. So what did y'all eat for lunch? I ate. Ice cream. Ice cream and what? Some more ice cream. Ice cream, soda, water, lemonade. I, I, I got some more ice cream and a lot of ice cream. I had a lot. What did you eat besides ice cream? No, no, it's just around the, like, um, the round, uh, like, around the plate. It was around the plate. What else was on the plate? Um, a cheese. Cheese what? Cheese. You know those things? I don't know those things. Those things that have those meat on them. They have cheese on them. They have cheese on them? A cheese stick? A cheese stick? No! What are you talking about? It is, don't, you know? No, those, I don't know. You know those things that are like twist? Some curly fries? No, they don't twist. They're not curly fries. They, they are just like, they. It's cheese. Yeah, and. It's curly. And you know what? It, yeah, it's a little bit curly. And it's not curly fries. Yeah, it's just the things you know that you give me. That I give you? Yeah. Those corn beans. A corn dog? Huh? No, it's just corn. Those corn. Corn on a cob? Yeah! Corn on a cob ain't got no cheese on it. I ain't never gave you no corn and cob with no cheese on no, it. They, they is inside of it. And it has some plate. You talking about corn fritters? Yeah, corn fritters. Okay. So what'd you corn say? Fritters. So what'd you what you say you, you learned today? We learned about eating flowers. Eating flowers. So what did they teach y'all about eating flowers? That is nasty. Why are you knocking your knees together? That's why. That's why you look like Michael Jackson. What Michael Jackson? He knock his knees together. Why? I don't know. You gotta ask him. Hey, Did you make a new friend today? No, because I don't have no more friends. You don't need no more friends, anyways. No new friends. No new friends. Y'all, we need to talk. I have to tell y'all something. It's gonna sound weird, I know, but this is my life. And I gotta tell y'all, because y'all are a part of it. And so a situation happened yesterday. I um, I received a message. Um, y'all know Jesus is my best friend, right? Yeah. He my best friend. We talk all the time, right? Yeah. 
So, yesterday, let me see, where should I start? Okay, yesterday, it was me and I had two nurses here. It was just the three of us. We was all in the same room. And I, um, yeah, I don't even know where to start. Like, I don't know. I just, okay. I'm going to start from the beginning that morning. I got up, made the girls breakfast. And I went into the bathroom and I passed out. And y'all know, I always pass out either in the kitchen or the bathroom. That has always been the two main places I pass out. So, um, when I came to, uh, of course, you know, the two nurses, they were here. And they had to document what happened. They had to you know, they checked my vitals and all that good stuff. And, you know, they were trying to figure out what happened. And I couldn't tell them what happened because I don't know where I passed out. I don't know what caused me to pass out or whatever. So, you know, they documented everything, checked my vitals, la da da. So, um, y'all know me. <laughs> we got to laughing and joking and stuff. So I went and. I went into my bedroom. I went in my closet. Uh, what did I go in there for? I don't even know what I went in my closet for. Oh, I know. I think I was going to put some clothes on because, yeah, I was naked. Like I'm naked right now. I'm always naked. I'm at home. <laughs> what do you need clothes for when you're at home? But anyways, I went in the closet. And I was like, I'm going to put some clothes on. You know what I'm saying? Because I was like, we're probably going to go somewhere and do something. Blah, blah, blah. So I opened my closet. And I look on the floor. On my floor in my closet, it was uh, two bags. I don't know where those bags came from. I never seen those bags before in my life. It was two bags on the floor and it was my uh phone charger on the floor. Why is my phone charger in my closet? Why is it on the floor? So I'm looking. I'm like, what? I'm trying to make sense of it. I'm like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. So I I look at the phone charger and I'm like, okay. Maybe this phone charger fell, like, cause it it wasn't the phone charger that that I use all the time. It was like an extra phone charger I had in the closet. So I'm like, maybe it fell. And I looked up to the left side, the top part of my closet. I was like, okay, maybe it was up there and it fell. But if it was up there and it fell, how did it fall? Cause there is no fan in my closet there is no air conditioner in my room there is nothing in that closet that could have blew it off of the shelf first of all it's a phone charger so it's too heavy to be blown off you know what i'm saying it would have to be pushed off or pulled off you know what i'm saying so i was trying to figure out how did this get on the floor mind you this phone charger i don't even use it like i said it's not my main phone charger it's just the extra one you know backup so it was on the floor with the two bags. The two bags, I was like, what are those bags? What are those bags for? What do they go to? What do they have in them? And also on the floor, it was some bubble wrap. Mind you, I have not ordered anything lately. I have not opened up anything lately. You know what I'm saying? It's been a minute, about a week. So I'm like, where did this bubble wrap come from? Where did these two bags come from? I, I was just like, what is going on? You know what I'm saying? So, I closed my closet door. I picked the phone charger up. And I put it back on top of the shelf or whatever. Because I was like, 
Maybe that's where it was at. I, I don't know. Yeah, I was trying to make sense of everything. So I came back in here and I was talking to the, the nurses, whatever. And the nurse tells me, she was like, uh, she tells me, she said, you, um, she was like, you need to give one of your friends a chance. I was like, what are you talking about? And she was like, she said, you, um, she said, you're always going on dates and stuff. And she was like, why don't you give them a chance? I was like, what do you mean give them a chance? And she was like, give them a chance. Like, like make them more than a friend. I was like, <laughs> I was like, nah. I was like, I like going on dates with my friends. And she was like, yeah, but make them more than a friend. Like both of them, they was like, yeah, you need to make them more than a friend. I was like, so which one should I make more than a friend? And you know what I'm saying? They they was like, uh, that's for you to decide, whatever. And I was like, nah. <laughs> like my friends, I like having them as my friend. I want them to stay my friend. I don't want them to be more than my friend. So you know what I told them. And uh so that was then. So the two of them they left and I was still thinking about that stuff that was on my closet floor. And I was like, I'm not going to go back in there. You know, I ain't got no reason to go back in my closet. You know what I'm saying? I was already dressed. I was like, I don't need to go back in there. Mind you, my kids was at school. So, when my kids came home, you know, we did our usual. And my oldest daughter, Alice, she had some spelling words or whatever. So, we started going over her spelling words. And... She brought me um, her spelling words. And normally when we do her spelling words, you know, we have to write them, you know, she has to write them to make sure she spells them correctly, whatever, that make sure she knows them, whatever. So I opened up the notebook, the binder, whatever. I opened it up and there was a letter in there. Y'all will not believe what this letter said i'm like okay jesus what, what are you saying to me what what are you what i i need to understand what jesus is trying to tell me because like i said the situation in the closet happened got my nurses telling me i have to give one of my friends a chance and then i find this letter y'all jesus i'm talking to you jesus jesus tell me god tell me what do y'all tell me? What are y'all saying to me? I need y'all to just say it. You know what I'm saying? Just say it. Because these clues, I'm trying to put these clues together in this puzzle. I I mean, I know I'm good at doing puzzles and everything. But I just really need y'all just to say it because I really can't. Y'all, I'm going to read to y'all the letter. I'm I'm going to read to y'all the letter. Once I calm down, because right now I am still shook from the letter. But I'm going to read to y'all the letter. And y'all tell me what y'all think about it, okay? I'm 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 read y'all a letter. <laughs> 